Hey guys, King of Charmanders here, and today I bring to you a video on the budget thunder attack builds for all weapon types. This guide provides thunder attack builds as of the Vernal Invader update, and I will analyze the cheapest thunder attack builds for each weapon type. This will exclude Zenogre weapons and gear, as Zenogre materials are difficult to obtain. However, we are going to take a look at Toby Kodachi and Sisiaku for sure, and like I mentioned, we're not going to have Zenogre in here. And will not have Zenogre weapons or armor in this video. If you're looking for the best Thunder Elemental attack builds, no holds barred with Zenogre gear, take a look at my recommended video at the end, and that will have the video for the best Thunder attack builds with all Thunder gear considered. First, we're going to start out with the weapons of Sisiaku and Tobi Kodachi. Sisiaku has lock on at grade 8, making it one of the most interesting pieces of weaponry in the game. So if you get grade 8 for Sisiaku weapons, you get lock on. And lock on's really useful because for those of you that like seeing the monster's entire body and focusing on one specific part to break it, lock on is amazing. Now there are some players out there that do not use lock on, they use gyro, and that's perfectly fine. You're probably really used to it if you're using gyro and again there's nothing wrong with using either one me i just like lock on just because i can see the entire monster and it's easier for me to anticipate attacks the other thing is is toby Gadachi has a vade extender at grade 8. this is okay so vade extender is still a very good defensive equipment skill it very slightly extends evasion distance and might help you reposition faster Interesting enough, if you put the damage side by side, as you see at the bottom right here, Sisiaku edges out Toby Kodachi by 8 damage points total. So there's not really much of a difference, it's just really which one you want to go with. However, Sisiaku is available for only two weapon types, which is the Longsword and Dual Blades. So unfortunately, if you aren't a Longsword or Dual Blades main, you can't build anything with Sisiaku, unless more monsters come and Sisiaku weapons have a variation of them. However, if you don't have Sisiaku, it's okay because before Sisiaku was even released, we got Toby Kodachi. The great thing about Toby Kodachi is that it is available for all weapon types. If you don't have Zenogre, if you don't have Sisiaku, or if you just want something for your weapon type just because you don't have it, Toby Kodachi is perfectly fine. In addition, here's how to get to Thunder Attack 5 using only Sisiaku and Toby Kodachi gear. By using the following equipment, you can get to Thunder Attack level 5 with only 3 pieces of armor. This is the Sisiaku Helmet at grade 6, the Tobi Kodachi Mail at grade 4, and the Tobi Kodachi Coil at grade 6. You also get Evade Extender level 2 as a bonus. This leaves the arms and leg slots available to use, and there's a lot of things you can do with the arms and leg slots, and there's a lot you could do with those two slots freed up. This guide will mainly use this build for Thunder Attack 5. This is the cheapest way to go about it. Again, this is the most expensive one. So with these three pieces of gear, we will create the cheapest and most viable builds using the cheapest option. All right, let's jump right into the first weapon type, which is the Sword and Shield. We have the Thunder Attack 5 Burst 2 Critical I2 build. And here's a big disclaimer. This will be the build for most of the weapon types in this video as Rothian Van Braces at grade 6 is just too good. Giving burst level 2 and lock on with one piece of equipment is really freaking amazing. And burst gives you a lot of consistent damage, which is why combined with thunder attack level 5 is just really good. This build also has lock on along with critical eye level 2 as a bonus. Kuluyaku appears in all three biomes, so it's really easy to hunt for those legs. In addition, this Built also has Evade Extender level 3, which allows you to reposition fast and dodge monster attacks. It will also allow you to safely dodge Black Diablos' charge attack if she tries to charge after you with a good amount of distance. And if a monster runs away from you or is constantly trying to run away from you, you can easily just roll forward and towards it using Evade Extender level 3. To use this build, you need the Tobi Gadachi Sword and Shield at grade 8, the Sisiaku Helmet at grade 6, Toby Kodachi Mail at grade 4, Rathian Van Braces at grade 6, Toby Kodachi Quill at grade 6, and the Kuluyaku Greaves at grade 6. On to the next weapon type, and we have the Great Sword. We have Thunder Attack 5, Burst 2, Critical I2 build for the Great Sword. Disclaimer this is the same exact build as the Sword and Shield one. Remember, I told you this build's gonna be out here a lot, so refer to the Sword and Shield for the full breakdown. To use this build, you need the Tobi Kodachi Greatsword at Grade 8, Sisiaku Helmet Grade 6, Tobi Kodachi Mail at Grade 4, 
Rothian Van Braces at Grade 6, Toby Gadachi Coil at Grade 6, and the Kuluyaku Greaves at Grade 6. For the next weapon type, we have the Hammer, and this one actually has a different build. We have the Thunder Attack 5 Burst 2 Slugger 2 build for the Hammer. This build uses Slugger 2 to add stun ability. So for you Hammer Bros out there that you like to boink boink boink, Slugger 2 is amazing because it gives you stun ability and for Devil Joe we can knock over the pickles. This build also maxes Thunder Attack level 5 and gives Burst level 2. The build additionally has Lock On level 1, Part Breaker level 1 as a bonus. And of course Evade Extender level 3 allows you to reposition fast and you're going to chase after those pickles or whatever monster you're after and boink them to death and smash with your hammer. To use this build, you need the Tobi Kodachi Hammer at Grade 8, the Sisiyaku Helmet at Grade 6, Tobi Kodachi Mail at Grade 4, Rathian Van Braces at Grade 6, Tobi Kodachi Coil at Grade 6, and the Diablos Greaves at Grade 6. For the next weapon type, we have the Longsword. This is the Thunder Attack 5 Burst 2 Critical Eye 2 build for the Longsword. And you guessed it! Refer to the Sword and Shield for the full breakdown because this is the same build as many of these. To use this build, you need the Tobi Gadachi Longsword at Grade 8, Sisiyaku Helmet at Grade 6, Tobi Gadachi Mail at Grade 4, Rathian Van Braces at Grade 6, Tobi Gadachi Coil at Grade 6, and the Kuluyaku Greaves at Grade 6. Next build we have for the Longsword, we have Thunder Attack 5, Critical Eye 2, Quick Work 1 build for the Longsword. This build uses Quick Work Level 1 for faster parries. Level 1 isn't great as 2 or 3, but if you just want it a little faster, you can use this build. And this build maxes Thunder Attack 5 and still gives Critical Eye Level 2 for extra damage. This build also has Lock On Level 1, thanks to the Sisiaku Longsword at Grade 8, and Bleed Resistance Level 2. So if you're fighting Odo Garen and you hate Odo Garen, this build is for you. Even though Odo Garen isn't weak to Thunder, you want a general purpose one for all monsters, well, at least you're going to be able to prevent Bleed status by 40%. And the good thing about this, this build still has Evade Extender Level 2. So if you want to duck, dodge, and weave, if you could dodge a wrench, you could dodge a ball, if you know that movie's quote, we can be friends, you can use this build. It requires the Sisiaku Longsword at Grade 8, the Sisiaku Helmet at Grade 6, the Tobi Kodachi Mail at Grade 4, Odo Garen Van Braces at Grade 6, Tobi Kodachi Coil at Grade 6, and the Kuluyaku Greaves at Grade 6. But if Quick Work Level 1 isn't doing it, well, if as long as you are willing to sacrifice some Thunder Attack, you can do Quick Work Level 2. This is the Thunder Attack 3 Quick Work Level 2 build for the Longsword. This build uses Quick Work Level 2 for faster parries. Me personally, I like Level 2 as the perfect balance for me. I like level 3, but the window for level 3 is just so fast that I'm like, you know what? I don't really need it that much right now. And I'm used to 2. So, if you like 2, this build sacrifices 2 levels of thunder attack, but adds burst level 2 to make up for it. So, level 2 burst along with lock on, and quick work level 2 gives you a combination of destruction. You will thunder, flash, and clap. I mean, thunder, clap, and flash your way to victory with this build. It also has Lock On Level 1 and Critical Eye Level 2 as a bonus, and of course Evade Extender Level 2 allows you to reposition fast and dodge that annoying Black Diablos that's pissed off at you because she's in heat. To use this build, you need the Tobi Kodachi Longsword at Grade 8, the Odo Garen Helmet at Grade 6, Tobi Kodachi Mail at Grade 4, Rothian Van Braces at Grade 6, the Tobi Kodachi Coil at Grade 6, and the Kuluyaku Greaves at Grade 6. For the next weapon type, we have the first of the two ranged weapons, the Light Bow Gun. The Thunder Attack 4, Recoil 3, Reload Speed 2 build for the LBG is what we're using here for the cheapest ones, as this build uses Thunder Attack 4 and as high as recoil down and reload speed as possible. Without the Koro Puke Puke Coil, which is really expensive, you're not going to be able to get recoil down and reload speed 3 without sacrificing a lot of damage. However, this build still has Recoil Down 3, which allows you to minimize the recoil from slicing Thunder ammo. As you see on the left, you have it still high, but not as bad as it normally would if you didn't max out Recoil Down. Reload Speed 2 is okay. It's still fast for your Thunder ammo, normal for your slicing ammo, but it's the best you can get to do without getting expensive. And it also has Evade Extender Level 2 and Defense Boost Level 2 for great defensive skills. To use this build, you need the Tobi Kodachi Light Bowgun at grade 8, 
and Sisiaku Helmet at Grade 6, the Palu Male at Grade 6, Legiana Van Braces at Grade 6, Toby Kadachi Coil at Grade 6, and the Bareth Greaves at Grade 6. And now for the second weapon type of ranged, we have the bow, and it is the Focus 5 Burst 2 build. So this is the only build that does not use Thunder Attack as Focus Level 5 is a priority. If you want Thunder Attack, you need Zenogre Greaves, or not Zenogre Greaves, Zenogre Gloves at Grade 6, and we're not using Zenogre Gear here. But at the same time, if you are a beginner, if you're relatively new, Focus 5 should be the general build you're going to go after. Along with Burst Level 2, as Burst Level 2 can be maintained with the Toby Kadachi Bow because Toby Kadachi Bow has Pierce. The hardest one to maintain Burst is Rapid. In order to use Rapid with Burst, you need to be able to fire a volley right after. You fire your first two full shots and you do a power shot and you'll be able to proc it. But with Pierce, that's easy because just fire Pierce and you're good. This build also has a lot of extra skills useful for defense. For this bow build, you need the Toby Kadachi bow at grade 8, the Puke Puke helmet at grade 6, the Puke Puke male at grade 4, Rathian Van Braces at grade 6, Rathalos coil at grade 6, and the Gyrotodus Greaves at grade 6. On to the next weapon type, and we have dual blades. We have the Thunder Attack 5 Burst 2 Critical I2 build, and it is the same one as many of the others. So refer to the Sword and Shield for the full breakdown. Also, here's an extra note for this one. Unfortunately for Dual Blades, it's not worth going after the Sisiaku Dual Blades. While it has some use for the Longsword, unfortunately for the Dual Blades, you want Rathi and Vambraces at Grade 6 because you get Burst Level 2 and Lock-On. You don't need an extra level of Lock-On because Lock-On maxes out at 1. And if you take a look at the builds for Thunder, the thing is Burst is literally it's literally the same thing if you put Sisiaku dual blade it's going to go burst heavy and put both Rafian van braces and Sisiaku dual blades so there's just really no use of having Sisiaku dual blades if you're going to go elemental go for Toby Kodachi or just go for Zenogre dual blades if you're going to go for it but just in case for this build in case you forgot for this thunder attack 5 you need the Toby Kodachi dual blades at grade 8 along with the Sisiaku helmet at grade 6 Toby Kodachi Mail at Grade 4, Rathian Van Braces at Grade 6, Toby Kodachi Coil at Grade 6, and the Kuluyaku Greaves at Grade 6. Moving on to the next weapon type, we have the Lance, and this is an Offensive Guard 4, Critical I-3, Thunder Attack 2 build. This combines Offensive Guard Level 4 and Thunder Attack Level 2. The thing is, with the Lance, Offensive Guard is one of its best weapons as far as its build, and it recently just got buffed. Along with that, Critical Eye Level 3 allows for bonus damage, and you have Thunder Attack Level 2 with it. So the thing is, the, you can get rid of Kuliyaku Helmet and put Sisiaku Helmet on there for Thunder Attack 4. But if you want Lock On, just use the Kuliyaku Helmet. You still get Critical Eye, and it's going to give you... That's still extra, not as much as two levels of Thunder would, but at least you have Lock On. To use this build, you must have the Toby Kodachi Lance at Grade 8. Also, the Kuluyaku Helmet at Grade 4, Barrett Mail at Grade 6, Bamboro Van Braces at Grade 6, Toby Kodachi Coil at Grade 6, and the Kuluyaku Greaves at Grade 6. And the last weapon type we will cover is the Charge Blade. And we have the Thunder Attack 5 Burst 2 Critical I-2 build again. A disclaimer, please refer to Sword and Shield for the full breakdown, or you could read the points. Other than that... To use this build, you need the Toby Kodachi Charge Blade at Grade 8, the Sisiaku Helmet at Grade 6, Toby Kodachi Mail at Grade 4, Rothian Van Braces at Grade 6, the Toby Kodachi Coil at Grade 6, and the Kuyaku Greaves at Grade 6. Alright, next up for the Charge Blade, we have the Thunder Attack 3, Burst 2, and Quick Work 2 build. This build sacrifices two levels of Thunder Attack to get Quick Work Level 2. This allows you to get into Axe Mode faster when you transform into the Axe to do those AEDs or Super AEDs. The build has Burst Level 2 along with Critical Eye Level 2 for extra damage, and the Burst also has Lock On. So, that makes it great. And of course, Evade Extender Level 2 allows you to chase after monsters faster to use Axe Mode. To use this build, you need the Toby Kodachi Charge Blade at Grade 8, the Odo Garen Helmet at Grade 6, the Toby Kodachi Mail at Grade 4, Rothian Van Braces at Grade 6, Toby Kodachi Coil at Grade 6, and Kuluyaku Greaves at Grade 6. 
All right, finally the last build we have for the charge blade. It is the Thunder Attack 4 Burst 2 Offensive Guard 2 build. This build sacrifices one level of Thunder Attack for Offensive Guard level 2. Guard points allow you to proc Offensive Guard with a lot of extra damage bonuses like Burst level 2 and Critical Eye level 2. Along with this, of course, the Evade Extender level 2 allows you to chase after monsters faster to use Axe Mode. To use this build, you need the Tobi Kodachi Charge Blade at Grade 8, the Sisiaku Helmet at Grade 6, Barith Mail at Grade 6, Rathian Van Braces at Grade 6, Tobi Kodachi Coil at Grade 6, and the Kuluyaku Greaves at Grade 6. Alright, now that was a lot, so I'm going to keep the closer pretty simple and short. If you are looking for the best Thunder Attack builds, take a look at the recommended video right here. If you're looking for the best of the best, or if you're looking for the greatest, again, the video is right over here. If you do not have Zenogre weapons, you can substitute it with Tobi Kodachi or Sisiaku weapons. If you run the simulations, literally the weapons instead of the Zenogre weapons, they usually ask for the same exact builds or similar ones. So all the builds I have right here are very similar to the ones you have for Zenogre. It's just you have cheap instead of expensive and there's a lot more expensive equipment for the expensive builds rather than the ones I presented over here. This is for the newer players slash you're still starting out or if you don't want to build Zenogre weapons or gear, this is the guide for you. Again, if you're going to use the best Thunder weapons, you can use those builds just with Tobi or Sisiaku weapons. With that being said, please do me a huge favor, like, subscribe, and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Good luck on your grinds, hopefully this Thunder event's treating you well, and whatever event in the future gives you all the drops you need for whatever you are building. Good luck on your grinds again, and I will see y'all on the next video. Ciao,